So I just got ready. I decided to curl my hair. I haven't curled my hair in a really long time. It's probably been like months. But um, it didn't come out too bad. Sadly, I don't have any hairspray, so we'll see how it holds up. But we are going to go to a pumpkin patch. It's called Steed's Farm, and it's in Georgia. And we are going with some friends, so it's going to be really fun. And I'm going to vlog it and take you guys along. I'm going to show you a little outfit of the day. I've been struggling the past few weeks because my bump has gotten extremely huge and nothing fits me anymore. Yeah, I'm just on the struggle bus with that. So I just decided to wear a simple little dress and a little flannel. Cause the best thing about it is I know I'm coming back. Oh, oh. Of all the magic places in the world This is where my heart is, oh you know it's true No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can hide. I wanted to do a little clothing haul of some things that I picked up lately. Most is for Jack. He needed more winter stuff, but I got, also got a few things for the baby as well. So I'm going to show you guys. Also, I shopped different places. Some is from Target and some is from Walmart. For Jack, I got everything in a size 4T because once he turned three years old, it seems like he just had like this really big growth spurt. Everything that fit him a few weeks ago was short all of a sudden. So I got a 4T. So that way it will last him at least through the winter. I got a four piece pajama set. These right here. I love the color. Very cute. 
And this is the other set right here. Very, very cute. Got two long sleeve shirts. They're the same, they're just different colors. This one is the black and gray one. Thought it was a cute little casual long sleeve shirt. And then this is the blue and the gray. I picked up this pajama set from Walmart. It was only $7 and the material is really soft. But it has airplanes on it and Jack likes airplanes. So I thought he would like this one. Also picked up four pairs of jogger pants. I got a navy blue one, two black ones, and then a dark gray one. And then of course I had to pick up Christmas pajamas for Jack. We do this every year. We pick out a pair and this year he actually picked out what he wanted. So he picked out these right here. It has Santa Claus on it. And then these are the bottoms that go with it. They're on sale for like $8 that week. So yeah, really good deal. So got a Christmas colored onesie for baby because I'm not really sure if he's gonna be here before Christmas or after Christmas. My due date is the 22nd. So that is literally a few days before Christmas. I have a feeling he's gonna be here before, but just in case he decides to stay in there a little bit longer, I got this adorable, cute little onesie that I will be taking to the hospital. Um, this might be his going home outfit. I'm not really sure yet, but this is so cute. And I thought it was perfect just in case he decides to come after Christmas or even before, it really doesn't matter. It's just so cute. I love it. I bought these on Amazon. They're newborn hats. I was trying to match this onesie. The colors are off though. It was misleading. So I'm still gonna have to try to find a hat to match it. But um, I got the white little knotted hat. And then this is like a, I guess you could say like a beige. Yeah, like a beige color. Also recently did a collaboration with Kia Babies on Instagram and TikTok. But I wanted to share with you guys on here because I just really love this. It's a wooden hairbrush set and it is so cute. You get these two brushes right here and then you get a comb. And I think this is just like the cutest thing. I love it. I don't have a good hairbrush set for Jack even when he was a baby. I just used the little cheap, um, I don't even know what the brand is. I'm really glad that I had this this time around. I've been like hardcore in nesting mode lately. I am 32 weeks pregnant today, so I do wanna get things together. I feel like I'm kinda of behind this time around. So I definitely want to get things prepared because you never know when baby could come. I'm gonna be working on the changing table station today and I thought that I could show you guys some footage of that. I got some really cute things from Amazon to make it his own little space. I got this little changing table um, pad cover. <clears throat> I gotta wash it, but I'm gonna put it on there for now until I wash all the baby clothes that I have to wash. I also got some storage cubbies. There's six of them and they're this, um, this color right here. I think a few vlogs back, I told you guys that Jack and Dallas will be sharing a room. Jack actually still sleeps with us, so he doesn't even sleep in here yet. And then of course the baby will be sleeping with us in our room for a while. But I'm hoping to eventually transition both of them into their own room. Today's task is to get the changing table area completed and organized. Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that hobbit bitter Maybe you taste different Hold up, hold up, baby I can't sit beside you While you're going on about your simple life Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different I 
cover it's so soft i love it and then i just put his brushes and some sample of wipes i definitely need to stock up on some more wipes and diapers but for now i got a few newborn diapers and then the diaper cream and some wipes the bottom three cubbies are empty right now but i know that i'm going to find things to put in them um, the top three, what I did was I put the newborn onesies in this one. So he has all his little onesies in there. In this one, I have all the swaddles. And then this one over here, I put diapers in it for now. But I'm, um, I'm probably going to use this as like a random bin of putting like other this and that things that I need. So yeah, that's what we got done today. I'm also planning on putting a shelf right here to just have some like decor pieces up there. But for now, this is what I got. We got a few weeks left till Mr. Dallas makes his arrival. So trying to get everything together. I wanted to give you guys a little tip. I wish I knew this as a first time mom, but it is to wash your baby's clothes and things as you get them when i had jack i just had them all in a pile and towards the end is when i washed everything and then i had to fold everything and put everything away but this time i did wash them as i got them and it's been a lifesaver it saves you some time in the long run and i'm so glad that i did this time so just wanted to throw that little tip out there for you guys to make it a little bit easier I know expecting a baby is a lot of preparation, it feels like. And even after you prepare, it still seems like you're forgetting something. Me, as a second time mom, I feel like I'm so behind, but I know I'm probably okay. It's just, I just feel overwhelmed. Like I wanna make sure everything is ready for baby. But I am going to be ending the vlog right here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you like pregnancy, motherhood, and lifestyle content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Yep. And also give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.